yeah you can change the age forward but forward age change causes increase in atherosclerosis it does not decrease atherosclerosis so age is a factor that you can't control how about gender men have more atherosclerosis incidence as compared to premenopausal women can you change that no you can't although post menopausal women and the men have equal probability which leads to some people some doctors and some uh, pathologists to think it may be estrogen but what is interesting is that administering estrogen after the menopause actually increases the risk of atherosclerosis so if it was estrogen before menopause and that is something that was responsible for reducing the atherosclerosis then it is a strange thing that after the menopause when the the uh, estrogen is administered it increases atherosclerosis so clearly that may not be the reason so there is something in the premenopausal women that protects them from atherosclerosis so that cannot be changed although nowadays there are many kinds of surgeries and one man can become a woman and a woman woman can become a man again these are hormones and and surgical therapies but the genetic makeup somehow favors females to not have or to have lesser incidence of atherosclerosis then genetics so genetics there are hereditary propensities of people to have atherosclerosis or not or to have more risk of atherosclerosis or less and that can be two types one is where there is a cluster of other risk factors that are present in a person's family and are going to affect that person as well for example what do you think what do you think for example diabetes mellitus hypertension and cholesterol there are people who have their parents and their grandparents who had hypercholesterolemia or who had increased cholesterol and had diabetes mellitus and had hypertension such folks have a clustering of the factors that is going to affect them as well so that is one way genetics can cause problem the other way is that there are some genetic hereditary problems for example familial hypercholesterolemia where a homozygous patient or familial hypercholesterolemia usually starts encountering myocardial infarction by the age of 20 by the age of 20 the patient starts experiencing mi if he is homozygous for familial hypercholesterolemia so what is the problem the patient has hypercholesterolemia increased cholesterol level so just higher cholesterol level can cause this drastic and significant effect so again can we change that genetic not today at this time genetic makeup cannot be changed so that is a non modifiable factor how about the modifiable factors how about the factors that can lead to that can increase that can aggravate atherosclerosis but we can change them so cholesterol keeping it low is important high cholesterol is a risk factor smoking is a huge risk factor hypertension especially uncontrolled hypertension 60% of uncontrolled hypertensive patients are going to have atherosclerosis and its effects ischemic heart diseases myocardial infarction this is how important it is to control the hypertension i have some some data over here we'll talk about it hypertensive are 60% more prone to atherosclerosis compared to normal tensives as well diabetes mellitus goes without saying one factor one one way that diabetes causes damage to the blood vessels is it causes the glycosylation it pushes the glucose onto the cells and in their membranes and it causes it causes damage so hypertension diabetes mellitus these are controllable factors hypertension can be controlled and should be controlled diabetes mellitus should be controlled and then similarly homocysteine or uh, increased homocysteine levels are also suspected to be a problem not fully uh, known but this is true that when the the homocysteine levels are higher there is increased propensity for atherosclerosis 
Now, there are some factors that are not modifiable and that are not actually that are modifiable, but are not conclusively agreed upon that they cause or aggravate atherosclerosis. What are those factors? Obesity. Many, many articles, many researches, they, they keep claiming that obesity is a reason for atherosclerosis, not known. Maybe, maybe uh, hyper cholesterol levels or increased cholesterol levels, which may be contributing to obesity and to atherosclerosis may, may happen. But obesity by itself is not a cause of atherosclerosis. Similarly, it is also claimed that stress, increased stress causes increased atherosclerosis. There is no such uh, connection that has been found. Uh, physical activity, it is said that hey, you guys have to have physical activity and otherwise there will be atherosclerosis. That is not true, but physical ac activity becomes important when we come to the people who have higher cholesterol or people who have hypertension or people who have diabetes mellitus. Such patients, if they are physically active, then their benefits will also help reduce the atherosclerosis. Estrogen. So, it was supposed that maybe the women who do not develop atherosclerosis before the menopause, the reason may have been the claims were that this was because of estrogen. It turns out that if you administer estrogen after the menopause, that actually causes a woman to have a higher risk of atherosclerosis. So, estrogen is probably not the, the reason. So, these are the factors. How do you keep the factors in mind? factors that are conclusively a risk factor for the atherosclerosis and factors that are not conclusive, but are thought. Second, in the conclusively contributing factors, there are factors that are not modifiable, you can't do anything, they are immutable and then factors that are modifiable. And of course, you work with the modifiable. The primary way to handle this disease is by controlling the modifiable factors and second way is also to be controlling the modifiable factors, but by using drugs. Okay. So, now let us see here some more um, stats here, men between the age of 40 to 60, men between the age of 40 to 60 have five times increased risk of developing atherosclerosis or accelerating it. That means increased factor for ischemic heart disease as well. Gender, of course, males are more than female. Hypertension, about 60 percent of hypertensive patients have a greater probability of developing atherosclerosis compared to normotensive. And uncontrolled hypertensive, about 50 percent, I said 60 percent before, 50 percent of the uncontrolled hypertensives will die of ischemic heart diseases, which are a contribution of atherosclerosis.